Welcome to Dynamic Foundry Group. I am Sandeep Kulkarni. Welcome you all to this presentation on grain sand molding costing. In this presentation, we are going to see how the part wise grain sand molding costing is to be made. We will also see its step by step process. One can easily do their own foundry costing, molding costing by just replacing my data with their own data. We take uh, here casting as DFG housing. The casting weight is 15 kg. Number of cavities per box 2. The total good weight per box will be 30 kg. We are taking some information about sand mixing. Uh, sand weight per box 275 kg. Mixer capacity 500 kg. Bentonite addition will be 1%. Bentonite rate is 6 rupees per kg. Coal compound addition will be 0.3% and coal compound rate will be 19.50 rupees per kg. Now we calculate sand batch cost. Bentonite, as a as you see, quantity per box will be 2.75 kg into rate 5.9, amount is 16.23 rupees. Coal compound 0.9 kg into 19.50 rupees is equal to 17. 55 paisa fresh sand 5.5 kg into 3 rupees that is 16 rupees 50 paisa total it comes around 50 rupees 28 paisa we consider here around 2 percent of sand batches rejected at 3 percent of mold breakage so total wastage we consider 5 percent so uh, the wastage cost comes around 2.51 rupees. So grains, so total sand batch cost will be 52 rupees 79 paisa. Now we go to other material required in the molding, that is sleeves, chaplets, etc. Uh, sleeve 60 by 150, quantity one. Sleeve 50 by 150, quantity two. Chaplet 8 mm, two numbers. The rate of 60 by 150 sleeve is 38 rupees, so its amount is 38 rupees. Sleeve 50 by 150 rate is 15 rupees, so it around amount comes 30 rupees. Chaplet 8 mm, two numbers, 0.85 per piece. That amount comes to 1.73 rupees. Total amount comes 69.70. We consider 1% wastage here, so that cost is 0.7. So grand total will be 70 rupees 45 40 percent. Now we go to the summary that is the cost of uh, sand mix and other material we mix uh, we add together. So total cost per box will be 52.79 plus 70.40 that is 123.19 rupees per box. We know that our box weight is 30 kg that is 15 into 2 so molding cost per kg will be 123.19 divided by 30 so it comes around 4 rupees 11 paisa per kg so our molding cost comes around 4 rupees 11 paisa per kg so this is the way you can calculate your molding cost in your foundry for any part you just replace the rates and addition and you can get a uh, get this molding cost so here uh, please note that the labor cost and the power cost required for the molding is not considered in this cost it will be included in the power cost and labor cost directly so it is not considered here please note uh, so molding cost for grain sand molding comes around rupees 4.11 per kg for this dfg housing which we have considered uh, tips and guidelines for correct costing. I am giving some guidelines and tips for this uh, correct costing of molding. Number one, use right box size including height to meet pressure head. Take the right sand weight for the estimation. So if you consider 275, it should be 275. Uh, if it is 300 or it is 250, it will definitely make a wrong estimation. So uh, you have to consider right box size height and your total dimension of the box size right and accordingly you have to calculate the sand weight required and take it for the estimation 
take correct sand additives weight and rate for the calculation this is also important that you consider right sand additive weight and rate for the calculation make proper estimation of requirement of sleeve filter densener chaplet etc that is other material if it get wrong it will have a huge impact on your molding cost so it's very important to have exact idea about what type of sleeve required or not required if it is required which size is required is this exothermic or insulating is required so this is very important if you miss this particular thing and then if something additional sleeve is required and then you try to make that uh, calculation again it will be a huge impact on your molding cost so it should be a proper estimation of sleeves filter tensioner chaplets etc take out sleeve from broken boxes this is also very important that you have to consider only 1% of wastage oil in other material that is sleeves filter etc and uh, your mold breakage you have considered 3% so you have to take out each and every sleeve from the broken box so that it can be used uh, reuse again otherwise that uh, molding box if uh, goes along with sleeve it will uh, add to your cost and your cost estimation will be wrong if you you are using mold paint please consider it in the costing we have not considered mold paint in this costing as we are not using any kind of mold paint for our dfg housing areas to reduce wastages what wastages we have considered let us understand first is mold breakage we have considered three percent rejected sand batches we have considered two percent and rejected sleeves and other material we have considered one percent anything about this if get gone uh, got wasted then di directly it will cut down your profit margin so it is very important to keep your wastages within the range of three percent two percent and one percent if you go it goes around it above it then it will have a wrong and bad impact on your costing so you have to control these Wastages. Verify the given estimated sand weight, sleeves, and other material during the pilot batch production and confirm. This is also very important that you have estimate, uh, you have get this uh, costing by a certain estimated uh, amount, certain estimated quantity, certain estimated volumes, and after uh, the development, you must have to verify it. That whatever estimated you have done for the sand weight use of sleeve and other material it is right or wrong or if it is having any changes then you have to inform to your management and to customer and get it resolved because if anything increased then definitely your cost got wrong your cost will get increased and your estimation will got into false so if any changes please inform the management and the customer to get it resolved thank you happy costing and hope you enjoyed this uh, video thank you very much